Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. Thank you so much for joining this particular lesson which is aimed very much at those who may be a little newer to Excel. Uh, some people might say that we are learners, others might say I'm a newbie. You'll notice that this particular worksheet is called Hide and Protect because what I'd like to show you first of all is how to hide columns that you do not wish to use so that you're not distracted uh, by uh, other uh, cells, other visible cells, uh, which really does lower the possibility of making uh, errors by clicking in wrong cells, uh, or cells that you don't want data in, uh, or the like. So let's look at how to hide columns first. I'm going to click on column G to select that column and then hold down the control, shift and right arrow. That selects all of the columns right across to column XFD which is the 16,384th column. Now I'm going to right click on one of the column headings and choose hide. As you see it hides all of the cells in those columns. I haven't deleted the columns, I've purely hidden them. Now the next step, I want to protect the cells in columns A, B, D and F because I want to be able to use my tab key to move across the cells not worry about columns C and E so that I uh, keep those out of harm's way as it were I can't have data being entered into them so we're going to protect as I say all the cells in the four named columns the way I do that is this, there's a little bit of a trick involved so watch carefully First of all I'm going to select columns A and B and I'm going to hold down the control shift down arrow. That selects all of the cells in those two columns down to row 1,048,576 because that's how many rows there are in this version of Excel. Now I'm going to scroll right up to the top with my mouse being careful not to uh, move over into the worksheet area which will uh, deselect the selected um, uh, cells here. Now here's the rule, here's the trick. Before you click into D2 to start um, protecting all of the cells in column D you must hold down the control key, hold it down first then click in D2 and with the control key still held down hold down the shift key and the down arrow again. That selects all of those cells. Now let's scroll right up to the top, hold down the control key, click in F2 in this case, hold down the, with the control key still held down, hold down shift and the drop arrow, scroll up to the top again and you'll notice that you've selected all of the cells in those four columns. Now what we're going to do is to protect all of those cells in those four columns so that uh, we can only enter data into those particular selected cells. And at this stage I would mention the golden rule of all computing, select then do. So now let's see how we protect the cells. We do that by going to the home tab, click the drop arrow in the number group and go to the protection tab. Take the tick out of locked and click OK. Now go to the Review tab, click Protect Sheet in the Changes group and take the tick out of Select Lock Cells. A password is optional, I won't use a password but uh, if you do use one write it down, don't forget it, they're very very hard to retrieve if you do forget but a password will stop other people uh, unprotecting the worksheet and undoing all your hard work. So having done that click OK. Now, there are no cells over here I can click on. If I keep clicking here, nothing happens. I'm clicking with the mouse there. Nothing happens there either, but I can click there. And if I type a name in there, we'll say Bill for the sake of exercise, and press the tab key, we'll say Bill is 23. When I press the tab key again, you'll notice that it skips across through the salary cell uh, doesn't stop in, on C because we locked C 
column C cells out. His salary will say 75,000, 1, 2, 3. Uh, his telephone extension, tab, notice how it skips across again to column F. His extension will say it's 1, 2, 3. Now we use the tab key to move around. The next person is Tom. Tom is tab 45. Tab, he's on $40,000. You could, of course, format the uh, salary cells if you wished. Uh, tab, his extension's 234. Tab, so on and so forth. So as you can see, you can only use the cells into which you want data. And uh, it's a good way to stop uh, uh, mistakes being made by data entry people uh, who are using spreadsheets that you've created. Uh, because uh, people have a habit of making mistakes when they enter data into cells. So that's how that works. Um, a little bit of practice involved. Remember the control key is the, is the key to the whole box and dice because the control key lets you select a cell uh, without deselecting other cells. Don't forget to subscribe ladies and gentlemen. Uh, lovely to have you as a subscriber unless you already are of course. Uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.